Hey guys, I haven't done a voiceover in so long, I really don't know what I'm doing. Let's get started. So first I'm going to be taking a white acrylic paint. This one is by Orly, but you guys can use whatever you have. You can even use a polish. Then I painted my nails using the following polishes, which I will paint. Paint? No, I will list them down below. Then I'm taking my acrylic paint and basically we're just going to draw a grid on our nails, but we're going to be doing um, not collect connecting lines we want to do a box shapes that are evenly spaced and evenly sized so as you guys can see I'm kind of floating over my previous box that I drew just to make sure that it's lining up perfectly because since we're doing a geometric print um, by definition that means that it needs to be symmetrical so I'm sorry in advance for making you do this <laughs> so basically I'll continue that technique all the way to the tip of the nail but if you want to, you can also flip your brush horizontally and this can basically make it a little bit easier because I don't know, working with length is sometimes a little bit intimidating. And also, if you guys make any mistakes, then you can just rub that away with rubbing alcohol. That is definitely one of the advantages to using acrylic paint versus nail polish is that you can always go back into your work. And this is just an example of using that horizontal technique versus um, doing vertical. You guys can see that filling in that space was a little bit quicker and easier. This is our next step. We're just going to fill in our squares. And you don't have to be really perfect with this. You can go in with as many layers as you want to. So now I'm going to come in with some diagonal lines. And this is basically going to be a 45 degree angle from the top left of our square and the bottom right. Eventually, these lines should all meet up on the same angle. But it's okay at this point if they're just a little bit of a rough sketch because we're going to chew them up in a second. So now is when I'm going to take a little baby horizontal line just to make sure that the end of this line is nice and even and then I'm going to thicken it up to make it a little bit bolder because right now the line weight doesn't match the boldness of the square if that makes any sense. Probably not. But anyway, so like I said earlier, we're going to true up our lines and to do that all you want to do is connect your bottom right line to the top left line. And if what I'm saying doesn't make any sense, just look at what I'm doing and if it still doesn't make any sense, feel free to answer, ask me any questions in the comment section. I understand. And basically guys, this is it. I decided that I really liked this design after this step. However, to do a true houndstooth print, we only need to do one more step. So if you guys would like me to do that, just let me know down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, this is it. I'm going to go good night or good morning whenever you're watching this.